today's microphone holder is this box of raid uh, termite killer that I found on the shelf just over there. Epic and barely distracting to the frame. Anyway, if you saw my last video, you might have thought, what the fuck? Why is this such bad quality and look like it was filmed on a calculator? I thought this guy owned a red and an Atlas Anamorphic and a Z cam and a camera that does a better job than 720. Well, that's because it kind of was filmed on a calculator, if I'm honest. I use my phone and I also use this. This is my 5D Mark III. It was the first second camera I ever bought and it was like, it was the camera that I was like, at the time, I was like, this is gonna change my filmmaking career. I'm a videographer, not a photographer. I don't know why I got a photo camera. Anyway, it has like it has a, a video function, <laughs> barely, and it does 60 frames at 720, and it does 1080 at 24 frames a second. So I was going down south on this family holiday, and I knew I wanted to take photos, but I didn't anticipate making a video. But then when I was there and I was taking the photos, I was like, oh, these frames would look sick if they were in motion. So I started taking videos. I think now like everyone gets so caught up with this whole the 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 smoothness of a gimbal and the, the most cinematic way they can make things look but I think it really detaches from the emotion that you can capture in a video like everyone gets caught up with these big wow moments these big sweeping shots they're all hyper smooth on their bloody robot gimbals and stuff like that but in doing that you really detach from the emotive relatable moments that are happening within the frame that's why I love like shooting like 1.8 aperture super low bokeh everything's blurry as heck half the stuff you shoot's out of, out of focus but it looks raw and it looks real. And it, it, it captures, for me, a 50mm 1.8 captures a memory in a more nostalgic way to me than a grand wide sweeping shot of some church or some, some lady walking to a church doing a wanderlust look like that or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? It, it gives me like a modern nostalgic feel to have like the micro jitters and the blown out highlights because of the crappy dynamic range of it. To me, that is what is is kind of is going to keep me nostalgic with memories when I look back on it. Right now it's like a very current trend to to, to try and emulate a Super 8 look. Even with your DSLR camera they have all these like overlays and grain filters and stuff. And I've done it too, like <laughs> as it's placed. But I think um, for me it's like I didn't live in the era of like the 80s. So I don't want to capture my current things for a memory feel in, in an era that I didn't live in, you know. I want, to, I want to capture it in something that's nostalgic to me now and I feel like these old DSLRs they have the look that in the future will be looked at back on and be like oh that's like old school and and it's kind of what I want it to look like because it was like a memory video you know Shit. I used to really associate like low aperture high bokeh with like artsy and professional um, and and like when I first started I'd see like my friends that kind of knew a bit about cameras and they'd be like like high fade films with like low aperture and well, they all used Canon so it was like highlight peaky and it was at the time that's all I wanted to do and and so that's why I kind of made this almost like full circle so yeah just wanted to give you a little breakdown on why I used the shittest camera I own for video uh, on my little trip oh wait for a, a memory video I think the video reflects that it's not a great video it's just something that I'll look back on in 30 years and be like sick what a great trip with a great girlfriend in a great location with great food honestly it was good good food I never thought I'd say this but if you don't mind smosh that like button um, it'll help with my viewership and my global reach and eventually I'll be able I'll, I'll have enough subscribers that I'll be able to overtake current political parties and it'll it'll lead to global domination all documented with a 5D Mark III no one's out when sun's sick and breeze on the way, oh, be your way.